Yo, what's up guys? My name is Chris Wustad and I run the takeover shop where I sell editing assets and presets for content creators just like you. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to be going over this AI tool that literally changed the game for me and my short form content editing and even my long form editing. And what this tool does, it's actually called Keeper. It's a really dope plugin. If you're a Windows user, unfortunately, you can't use this plugin, but if you're Mac, then good news, this thing is actually amazing. So like I said, it's called Keeper. And what it does is it automatically rotoscopes or keys out your subject with one drag and drop. And literally this effect has saved me so, so much time. I don't have to mask inside of Premiere Pro, which masking in Premiere Pro, if you guys know, you know, it freaking sucks. And it also prevents me from having to open up After Effects and manually rotoscoping inside of that program. So today's tutorial is really just gonna be about like how I personally use Keeper and like how dope it is inside of my own workflow basically just doing a little overview of like the whole thing so without further ado let's go ahead and get started in the tutorial i'm going to go ahead and open up my premiere pro project and today we're actually going to be editing a dope clip of tom nas it's actually a really short one but uh it's a pretty clean clip first things first let's go ahead and go into the effects type in keeper and then we're going to go ahead and drag and drop the key and as you can see it literally did such a dope job of keying him out like literally it's actually insane like it's a little bit off but let's go ahead and fix that real quick just so we can see what we're doing i'm going to go ahead and add a new item color mat and let's just make the background like just red or something just crazy just so we can see what we're doing what we're affecting and like how it works and to be fair i will be completely completely honest like it's not the greatest key but like it gets you pretty decent results for a drag and drop process so I personally love it we're gonna go ahead and just check it out and this is actually 2.0 I've never played with 2.0 so I guess this will be like a fun learning experience for you and also for me yo real quick before we continue with the tutorial I want to let you guys know that the ultimate solo creator bundle is out now and hands down this is the best product that I've made I've spent the last year and a half creating this preset pack so that way I don't have to keep doing repetitive tasks and through this kit i was actually able to optimize my workflow so now i don't spend hours and hours each and every single day editing content like now editing is just a simple drag and drop process and like i genuinely mean that i use these presets each and every single day and they're actually pretty gas so if you want to be able to edit like me and plenty of other dope creators online go ahead and check it out down below in the description and let's get right back to the video so i'm just checking out 2.0 like kind of first thoughts i guess so you could actually create your own presets which is pretty sick so let's go to what is subject Oh, yo, that's huge. Okay, so previously inside of Keeper, it would only key out the person. So like my microphone would always not be keyed when I would kind of want it to be. So that's really cool. If you do subject, it does the entire subject. That's so fire, bro. Quality, of course, we got to do it high. Let's actually see what that does. Did I just fix the key? It did. Oh, that is that is huge bro that's so fire so anyways um damn i really don't have to play with the settings that's crazy what is patch what does that mean what is this what is that i'm so confused what what is this what does that do <laughs> bro i'm actually like so so sleepy right now as you guys can tell it's literally two o'clock in the morning and filmed the tutorials like we out here bro we out here grinding anyways i just want to go through let me just go back since this is such a great key we're gonna go back to person and like show you a terrible key and how you can kind of like fix it up a bit so thin is kind of like thins out the key so if we increase it it's gonna just like kind of erode it a little bit more whereas like if you don't thin it out it's gonna like thicken it up i guess i guess that's kind of the best way to describe it so when you add thin it just kind of cuts stuff off when you add thicken it's of course gonna like thicken the key if you don't then it like kind of goes back so thickening is sort of just like adding more to the key if that makes sense dilating is like i don't know if you guys have ever been to the eye doctor but when they dilate your eyes your eyes get really big so let's go ahead and just go ahead and dilate as you can see it's dilating the entire key and i personally would not ever really use this at all the one that i would mainly use is erode if the key was just like a little bit too wide so yeah you can do that and then soften of course is like just softening the key personally would never use that maybe just like a super low value like maybe one super super simple but yeah so i really don't know what these patch settings are i really wish i knew i'll probably figure it out later and then make like a new tutorial like an updated one but i don't know it's just really cool like the 2.0 actually really surprised me with how amazing this actually looks and how amazing it works a bit of an issue right there so let's see if we can maybe thin out the key a bit 
Okay, maybe not. Maybe that's just like one issue. But like, I mean, I could live with that for sure. That's pretty dope. That's super killer. Let's get rid of this mat and actually use it how I would really use it inside of a short form scenario. And the way that I would use it, let's go ahead and delete the keeper so that we have the background. I really love adding icons. I love adding text behind sort of like the subject. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go ahead and add a cool little text. So I'll just do text, which I actually have a tutorial on this. So I'm not gonna really teach you guys how to do what I'm doing. I'm just gonna do it and then kind of cut to adding an icon as well. Okay, so now that we have the text over on top, I always like to throw the text below. And as you can see, it kind of just adds like a cool little like effect. It's kind of like it's just like it's actually there. You guys can play with like the color and whatnot, animate the text in. I'm gonna add an icon as well. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so we're again gonna go ahead and drag the icon below. And then we're just gonna like kind of scale it up a little bit, just like so. Maybe bring it over here, maybe rotate a little bit like so i don't know just do something something like that and then let's go over to transform and then we're going to go ahead and just animate them and then i'll show you guys what the finished product looks like all right so i actually decided to just not use the uh the icon because i feel like it just didn't fit i went ahead and added like a uh, quick little slide in up on the text just add a little bit of sauce but it looks pretty clean and then literally just final touch add an adjustment layer do a quick little zoom in i'm actually just going to go ahead and use my preset pack which by the way link down below go cop it it's literally the best short form like editing pack out on the market right now in my opinion obviously i use it each and every single day so i'm a little bit biased but i mean i use it each and every single day so that says something so went ahead just drag and dropped the preset and this is what we're left with like that's pretty sick. So anyways, guys, I hope this was like a little bit helpful playing around with like the Keeper plugin. If you're on MacBook, then like I highly, highly recommend you investing in this software. It saves me hours of time each and every single week. So I highly recommend it. Anyways, guys, if there's any tutorials that you guys want to see here on this channel, please let me know in the comments down below. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Remember, take action, take over. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.